Hello, this is the tutorial for This Land is Your Land, a classic song for third graders and people in the United States. I like to teach this song because it only has three chords, and the nicest thing about it is that you're constantly going to C chord over and over and over again. So whatever chord, if you get lost, it will be there for you. Now, as always, I have timestamps in the description, so if you already know something and want to skip ahead to some practice or something different, go ahead and utilize those. I'll even put them in front of my face. <laughs> so we're going to start with the F major chord. We're going to put our second finger down on the G string, first finger down on the E string, second fret, first fret, and we have our F major chord. Now for the C chord, which is next, we're going to lift those up and use our third finger, third fret on the A string to create a C. Let's do that once or twice. So here's F, one, two, ready, play. And switching to C, ready, play. And back to F, ready, play. And back to C, Ready, play. Our next chord is the G7 chord. This one can be challenging if you're not that well versed in it. So we're going to keep our third finger on that A string, but we're going to slide it to the second fret. We're going to add our second finger to the C string second fret. So they are stacked on top of each other. We have like a hang loose sign going. And then we're going to add first finger onto the E string, so we have a little triangle first fret there, and should sound something like this. If you're not getting a ringing sound through all four strings, you might want to check and make sure that you're only touching one string at a time. Um, you might also want to check that you are pressing your strings down hard enough. We're going to go slowly now from C to G7, so starting with C, one, two, ready, play. And sliding third finger, add second finger, add first, and here's G7, ready, play. And back to C, ready, play. I'm exaggerating my finger movements. Back to G7, ready, play. And back to C, ready, play. And back to G7, ready, play. And back to C, ready, play. The next thing we're going to do is a bit of a skeleton exercise just to get used to those changes in between the chords. So we're going to go F, C, G7, C. And we're going to do those each for two beats just to get used to the changes. So starting on F, one, two, ready, go. F and change. C and change G7 and change here C and back to F and back to C and back to G7 and back to C one more time through the cycle F two three back to C and here's G7 and here is C and last time F and here is C, and here's G7, and here is C. If you're still not used to those movements, I recommend just doing them again and again, or you can just actually make the video slower. You can actually change the speed of the video in your settings if you want to do it a little bit slower. So for This Land Is Your Land, we're going to do four beats of each chord. What we practiced is actually twice as fast as our changes. That means we're going to be twice as good as them, at them. Yeah. So here you go. Here's the song. One and two and three. This land is your land. This land is mine. I'm going to 
change my pattern, I'm going to go down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up for every one strum. So. Like that. So here we go. You can do that with me. You can make up your own strumming pattern. You can practice your finger style. We're going to do the chorus and one verse of the song. A little play along. And a one, and two, and go. This land is your land. This land is for spending some time on the ukulele with me today. If you enjoyed this, please let me know. If you have random old-timey songs that you would like to hear and uh, learn about how to play, please let me know. Sometimes I do this and it's fun and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Until next time, stay mindful, stay musical, and stay out of trouble. <laughs>